Good morning. Let me turn on some lights see if you can see me a little bit better. It is 3.44. I have to be at work at 4 o'clock. Um, I'm going to start walking in now because um, we're still under that two-week um, probation period where if we are late even a minute, we don't get the bonus. So I'm getting there on time. So I will talk to you guys very soon. So I am bag room today. I'm gonna go get the scanner, get the carts, and start. So I'm picking up an empty cart. Ooh, that one's got stuff on it. Crazy. Okay. And then I'll connect.
Everything's connected. So now we have two carts for the um, for the bag room. So it's about 7.15 and I am taking this little one right here to school in about 35 minutes volunteering in this class. And I forgot to um, end the vlog. So I'm gonna go ahead and once I get him settled, I will go ahead and end it. I'm in one second, okay? Okay guys, so real quick, I just wanted to kind of go go over what I ended up doing. I ended up doing um, bag room and um, about 45 minutes after I arrived, um, the full timer came and then we did bag room together. We had both um, Denver and we had um, San Francisco. And um, it was a lot of bags. It felt like they were so heavy and um, there was a lot of bags, but we ended up getting it done. Both star flights um, went out on time and you guys know what star flights are those are just the first flights of the day and star flights are important because of the fact that um, if the, the first flights of each station in the entire system go out in time on time during the day then that means that they have a higher percentage of chance that the rest of the um, flights will go out on time for the remainder of the day for instance if it's a 5 35 a.m. flight and that first flight of the day, which is a, just say it's um, Newark to Miami, just say. And if it was starting off at 5.35 in the morning and it did not um, go out that day until 6.30 or six o'clock, that means that that particular plane will be late for pretty much every segment for the rest of the day. So it will affect the Miami segment. It'll affect the, um, the Washington Dulles, it might affect the Texas segment. So if that first flight goes out late, it can make the entire system for that flight to go out late because it's the exact same airplane. Because we still need enough time to unload the passengers and put the passengers on, clean the plane, all that kind of stuff. And because of that, um, it's very important. So it all went out okay. Um, there's this one. Um, so other than that, I just kind of wanted to just kind of run. Okay. Um, wanted to um, just kind of tell you what was going on for the rest of the day. Um, volunteering with this one, of course, and um, everyone's kind of apprehensive because of the new station that's going to be starting in about a week, and um, hopefully everything works out. I'm a little nervous because they were talking about five day a week part-time shifts, and that is definitely something that I do not want to do. Um, so hopefully if it you know, even if it is five days, I can kind of do some trades and make it work um, But I'm not gonna stress out about it um, Just do my best and hopefully everything works out. I will talk to you guys later and um, have a blessed day. Bye
Thank you.